A while ago, a friend of mine sent me this music video by this band called Dayglow and she asked whether I know how to achieve this distorted look. At that time, I didn't have the answer, but now I had some time to experiment with it and I came up with this. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Firstly, you would need a footage. So I have this footage from Pexel. And what I've noticed is that to make this effect works better, you would need a footage of people dancing or like moving so that the effect can distort their movement more. And also if you have a footage with plain background or a background that doesn't have too much things in it, then it would also work better because it won't distort the background. Therefore, your focus will only be on the people. Once you have your footage, create a solid layer and I'm going to call it map layer. And this is where our distortion map would be. And I'm going to apply fractal noise. I'm going to change the fractal type to max. And then I'm going to bring up the contrast a little bit. And I'm going to open this transform. And I'm going to scale this up to 1500. We can always change that a bit later. And then I'm going to animate the evolution by adding time expression. So time, asterisk, I'm going to do 200 for now. You see here, there's like a little bit of like detailed fractal here. So I can reduce that by decreasing the complexity. So I'm going to decrease that to two. And then this is basically how your map layer looks like. So once you've done that, I'm going to turn that layer off. Again, you can always adjust it later. And I might actually adjust it a bit later once I add this other effect. Before we continue, have you ever wanted to save time on motion graphics? Motion Deck Extension has thousands of animated templates that you can add to your animation. You can download a bundle pack, buy an individual pack, or subscribe if you don't want to spend too much in one go. They also have a free pack if you want to test them out first. It's so easy to use. The cool thing is you can customize them all. Check out the link in the description below to download. Now, back to the tutorial. And then I'm going to click on my footage layer. I'm going to apply displacement map on it. And I'm going to set the displacement map layer to my map layer and then change the source to effects and mask. When you adjust the numbers here, you can start seeing the distortion. So as you can see, there's like an obvious line here. So I'm going to fix that by changing the center map into stretch map to fit. So somehow my map layer doesn't fit the composition. And by changing it to stretch map to fit, basically After Effects just stretch your map layer to fit your composition or fit your footage. This is what it looks like so far. I really like the stretch look here. So I'm going to try to have more of that. But for now, I'm going to create an adjustment layer and I'm going to call this blur. If you watch the music video again, there's a bit of like, sort of like motion blur onto this distortion. So I'm going to add a bit of that. And I found that the best blur to use is CC Factor blur because you can apply a map to it and again I'm gonna set this map onto my map layer and change the source to effects and mask and now if I add the amount you can start seeing like the blur there and the blur is just kind of like changing according to the map which is pretty cool so some parts are more blurred than the others kind of thing now I don't really like this sharp ridge I'm gonna adjust the ridge smoothness I'm gonna try to and see how it looks like so it's putting it out a little bit, but I'm going to add a bit more so that the blur is kind of like a bit smoother and doesn't have that harsh, sharp line. And also you can add the map softness. And obviously you have some gaps now that you add the CC effect of blur. So you can fix that by adding motion tile onto this adjustment layer. And then just make sure that your CC effect of blur is underneath motion tile. So motion tile has to go first and then just add the output width and height until it covers the whole thing. And then you can also mirror edges just in case. So this is how it looks so far. So I'm actually gonna add a bit more blur to it. So I'm gonna add this amount of CC effect of blur so that there's a bit more blur. So that's how it looks normally and that's with the blur. And then I'm also, I think I'm gonna adjust a bit of my fractal noise or my map layer here. I'm going to try making the scale, the size a bit smaller. So there's actually a bit more distortion once I do that. And also I'm going to adjust the contrast and bring it up a little bit. Yeah, so I really like that kind of like stretchy distorted look. So that's the look that I'm going for. But obviously it's all up to you. Um, and you can always adjust that in your fractal noise or even like in your displacement map. If you reduce the displacement map a little bit, then the distortion will be less. 
Okay, so once I do that, I'm actually gonna add posterize time. So I'm gonna add another adjustment layer. I'm gonna call this posterize time and add posterize time. I'm gonna put it down to eight, just so that it looks a bit more like cartoony and jaggery. Yeah, so it looks more like the music videos now, which is pretty cool. And I'm actually gonna add another adjustment layer and this one is gonna be turbulent displays. So this is not necessary, but if you want to add a bit more like displacement onto your footage, you can do it. I'm going to put it underneath blur and I'm going to add turbulent displays. And then I'm going to animate the evolution by adding time expression. So time, maybe this time I'm going to do, just do 100. So I'm just going to turn it on and off to see the difference. So this is with the real displays and this is without. So it's just like slight difference. So I'm going to add the size a little bit, maybe the amount a little bit, just about like 70. And let's preview this again. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this look. This is just a fun effect that you can play with and I hope you had fun as well and I'll see you next time.